Hi everyone, welcome to Droid G channel. Today's video will teach you how to fix Samsung touchscreen not working. If you think about it, when you are typing, playing games, watching videos, or trying to open an application, you find that your Samsung phone does not respond no matter how you click or touch the screen, which is very annoying. Because your mobile phone does not respond, it will cause you to be unable to operate the mobile phone to access the data or information you need. Why did your touchscreen suddenly stop working? Here are some related issues that can cause your touchscreen not to work properly. Multiple apps running together cause the phone to crash. The SD card or SIM card inserted in the phone has failed. Interrupted the system or software that the phone was updating. There is slime on the screen protector, phone case, or display. The above reasons may be the cause of Samsung touch screen not working. Next, please watch patiently and try the methods in the video one by one. Method 1 is to restart your Samsung phone. Sometimes a simple restart is enough to fix most phone issues. It shuts down your phone system and restarts your phone system. You need to restart your phone like this. Press and hold the power button until you see the restart icon, click the restart icon, your phone will shut down and restart. Please wait patiently for your Samsung phone to complete the restart. After the restart is complete, please check to see if the touch screen is back to normal and can complete its work according to your operation. Method 2 is to force restart your Samsung phone. If your phone's touch screen is unresponsive, then method 1 probably won't work for you. You can try to force restart your phone. You need to press and hold the power button and volume down button simultaneously for 10 to 15 seconds. When you see your Samsung logo, it's time to let go. Your Samsung will be forced to restart automatically, please wait patiently for your Samsung phone to restart. Please check again if your Samsung screen is working properly after it is done. Method 3 is to remove the battery. If restarting your phone doesn't work for your device, please take out the phone battery and wait for a minute, then install the battery. After installation, Please turn on your mobile phone to check if your Samsung touch screen can work normally. If your Samsung battery cannot be removed, please put your phone in a dry place for a day or even longer, wait for the battery to run out, after making sure the battery is dead, put the battery back and charge the phone for at least 60 minutes. After charging is complete, please turn on your phone again to check if your Samsung touch screen works normally. Method 4 is to take out the SIM card or SD card. When performing several functions, your Samsung phone may heat up, which can affect its performance. It can also affect the touch screen and make it unresponsive. Removing the memory card and SIM card may be a better solution to this problem. Sometimes they can get damaged and also make your Samsung phone touch screen not work properly. Please take out the SIM card and SD card carefully. Then force restart your Samsung. Wait until your phone restarts, and then try to see if your Samsung's touch screen is working. Method 5 is to run Samsung in safe mode. Your Samsung touch screen may work intermittently if an application you have opened or installed crashes. To check if an app is causing the touch screen issue, try running your Samsung in safe mode. Please press and hold the power button. On the shutdown screen, press and hold the shutdown icon until you see the green safe mode icon. Please click OK and your phone will restart and boot to the home screen in safe mode. Use your Samsung normally in safe mode to see if the Samsung touch screen works normally. If it works, it means that there is a problem with one of your applications. Please find and uninstall it. Method 6 is to remove the screen protector and phone case. If you have tried all of the above and it doesn't work for your Samsung, then please check if your Samsung has a screen protector and a case. Sometimes an incorrectly placed screen protector or case can also cause your Samsung to not respond properly. Please take your screen protector and case off. After removing, use a dry soft cloth to wipe away foreign objects that may cause the touch screen to respond. When you are sure that there are no foreign objects on the phone screen, please open your phone to check whether the touch screen is working normally. Method 7 is to restore factory settings. When you've tried everything and your Samsung touchscreen is still unresponsive, the last thing you can do is perform a factory reset on your phone. Connect your phone to your computer. Then, make sure your phone is turned off and wait at least 30 seconds. Next, press the volume up button and the power button at the same time until you see the recovery mode screen. From the Samsung recovery screen, select wipe data slash factory reset using the volume buttons and press the power button to confirm. Then, use the volume buttons to select factory reset and use the volume buttons to select the yes option to confirm. This will trigger the reset process, which should only take 2 to 3 seconds to complete. Once done, it will take you back to the same recovery mode. Use the power button to select the reboot system now option. Finally, your phone will turn on and reboot to the home screen. If there is information you need in this device, please back up the information first. Because this step will delete all your saved content. Method 8 is to seek professional help. If your Samsung touch screen is still completely unresponsive, check the screen itself. Please recall carefully whether the phone has been dropped or damaged by water, and whether there are other cracks. In this case, you need to take the device to the Samsung store where you bought it to have your Samsung screen repaired. That's all for today's video. 
If you think this video is helpful to you and think we did a good job, please like, share and tell us which method helped you solve the problem in the comment area. At the same time, if you think there is room for improvement, you can also express your views and suggestions in the message area. Thanks. Good luck.